for battle. All right, here we are back into game three. Hopefully I edit this video correctly so you don't realize that there is like a 30 minute delay <laughs> in between the pick phase and actually starting the game. Uh, S4 having a lot of problems for no Tidehunter and then Alex not being able to reconnect on the remake. But here we are back into the game. Uh, I guess we already did the introduction, so we'll just see what happens. A ward was put here at the small camp by uh, no Tidehunter, so... Yeah, and now it looks like they're ready for that, but I think no tide enter realizing that they might be ready for it is just going to go as all five right now into the jungle. Led by the trees to uh, kind of know what's up. Yeah, same interesting buy. Oh, oh they're going to find black here. Find black. Storm hammer is up. Refraction charges. First blood. Black drops. S4, going the way S4. Alex there on Rubik. Has been spilled. I get the ward down anyway. Except the awesome. situation is even better. Alex, maybe gonna go down as well. Oh, misses the ice path by like a split second. Oh, towers are dangerous at level one. Okay, taking down to half health. Able to get out. The battle if that Sven was a Ventral Sphere, that's a, that's a dead Rubik right there. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, hmm. I'm not big fans of the Sven support here. <laughs> no. Yeah, I just noticed that uh, Channel MB's got the 1991 rock in that, <laughs> beside his name. It's a solid year. The classic date of birth, uh, beside your name. I remember Scott had, uh, like, 1915 or something. Yeah, it was like the was founding of the Red Wings or whatever. Everyone thought it was, like, 80. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Going back to the lanes where they were, it looks like uh, Black is just going to be by himself for now, at least until maybe Rubik comes in to help him out. But, uh, oh, it looks like they might try to get S4 here. Kirk, I put on the Ion shell. Yeah, but he's a uh, good refraction off all that damage. His bottle's already up, so that's Tango. It's going to be able to uh, get back at that damage. But let's see what uh, Kirk is going to continue to do on the Darkseer. Yeah, that's going to be huge for uh, No Tide Hunter, getting that quick bottle because S4 got the first blood, so. Uh, that's really, really beneficial for them, and uh, we'll see if he just kind of dominates the mid lane because of that. I would expect him to, but uh, he's not going to be able to take Fata completely out of farming, and when nighttime comes around, he's still going to be uh, quite dangerous, I think, regardless of his the middle situation right now. Yeah, absolutely. Black doing a nice job controlling the, the creep wave here, just exactly even equilibrium. And uh, we'll see if Lodo can similarly do the same. Looks like there's uh, two Radiant Creeps though, so might get pushed a little bit back to the tower unless he uh, can auto-attack him down a little bit. Oh yeah, because um, did Admiral Bulldog pull for them at the top lane? Or? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe, so, I don't know, maybe something just happened where the Creeper was killed too quickly or something like that. Yeah, and here's Lodo putting on, turning on the flat cannon just to push it out a little bit. Just a little bit though. Lane controls name of the game. Uh, professional defensive tri lanes. Yeah, oh, Pal's gonna see what the Admiral Bulldog's up to. Maybe he'll still like, steal a creep. He steals XP regardless, right? Oh, this is the last oh. hit! Yeah, Admiral Bulldog switched the creep just at the last second. Maybe he knew that uh, Pass was around. Yeah, I'm not sure where Pass actually uh, went in Viz. Kurakai really low here in the jungle, but uh, salved up. I think he maybe borrowed it from Alex. Who's farming up? Alex level two, about to hit level three. Kirkai level three as well, just pulling. A solid defensive tri lane play, but uh, a lot faster jungling when you uh, do that with Darks here. Yeah, and the supports for uh, mouse parts are going to get have a huge experience advantage if uh, if over the other supports of No Tide Hunter, because uh, Sven's pretty much got to keep an keep an eye on the lane at least, or at least he had to at the beginning. But uh, going to try to pull here, uh, combining with Haki. Get, get some experience that way. Maybe they're going to try to go for S4 here. Yeah, Void onto S4, Refraction is up. Meanwhile, Paz still giving a ton of harass towards Furion, killing his trees, trying to steal the last hits, knowing that there's absolutely no way that Mobile Dog will be able to kill him. But maybe they bait this one time, buy sentries, bait it out, kill him, kill Paz on the bounty hunter. Yeah, they could try it for sure, but it's going to take a lot of coordination. Just uh, Paz going to have the... Uh, the advantage over there. Oh, wait, wait. let's see if you can cancel it. Minus that on uh, gyrocopter. Wow. Yeah, I guess that's what you get for 
skipping items completely. Fata getting really low in the rest. lane. <laughs> I'd be so mad if I was Admiral Bulldog. Yeah, there's really nothing you can do though. I mean, eventually Fast's gonna run out of mana. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much there right now. Yeah. Oh, oh it doesn't that. get that last hit there. Yeah. Fat I actually picked up the haste in Wow, so he somehow beat S4. Maybe he pushed the lane a little bit, a little bit better. And now because of that, he's able to get the four minute rune as well due to the haste. So Fata doing a great job of uh, winning back this mid lane after after that first blood advantage, the quick bottle there for S4. But uh, S4 does have the phase boots now. So and here they are pushing tier one top. No Tato and up here. Well, not all of them. The defensive tri lane grouped up to push down the tier one uh, to Kurakai and pause top. Maybe just window walk at the ion shell to uh, hold off uh, the aggression. There's no sentries out right. Oh, one sentry on trouble envy. So maybe they could uh, snipe a kill here. Let's see if Loda gets the last hit. Uh, yeah, he's able to. Nice job by Loda. With 59 damage, that's that's pretty impressive actually. He probably only hits the tower for about twenty. They don't call him. They don't call him El God for nothing. That is true. There are a lot of gods in Dota, though. <laughs> yeah, the God being the original, the Ghost God. Uh, but yeah, there's been a lot since then. Y God, D God, other Y Gods, <laughs> Yamate, Yafits, YYF. All, all are pretty much Y Gods. But um, yeah, we're seeing some more pulling here from Alex. Just. Soaking up as much experience, he's already level four. So, but like we're seeing, that's kind of why some of the more stable jungle heroes kind of faded out now. Chen and uh, Enchantress, because pretty much anyone can do this. Anyone can pull the creeps, and then uh, and then do a double pull to just completely deny the wave and get experience that way without taking any damage. Yeah, it's really smart. Although, which surprises me that Chen well, was banned out every single game. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe uh, people just really don't want to play against him and they're not even going to risk it. Rune spawns on bottom, so Fat has already got an image there, so if someone were to come, he can he can deny it. Uh, it's going to be a race now. It is nighttime though, so... He's going to go body block with this illusion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he forces it away. Good pick up there for Fat. Good mid play. Still losing the farm battle by quite a bit, but it will get you know, a pretty decent amount, so... Yeah, I, I feel like with uh, with the room control there from Fata, he's mitigating some of the last hit uh, disadvantage that he's had. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll check the XP out for those two heroes. Night Sucker at 5, TA at 7. So, there's that yeah. information. Yeah, and Nature's Prophet's doing a good job in the jungle as well. Now, Pass kind of left him alone for a little bit. He's picked up a hand of Midas, so his farm's going to be pretty good. Oh, going on S4 there in the middle. Yep, Ion Shell doing lots of damage, TP in by Admiral Bulldog to help out. There's the refraction. Oh, what a sprout! Oh no. Oh, but they still drop Admiral Bulldog in the drop as well. Despite the uh, three heroes sprout. Oh no, they're gonna run away from them. The trees are taken out. TA trap on nice to trap. Kurok guy. One to get denied by Roche. Oh, maybe he just got away. Roche and... Eaten. Gets the kill. Gobbled up there. <laughs> That's such a cool animation. I wonder how uh, Axior tastes compared to all those Grievals. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Black, leading the last hitting charts. Doesn't have that tower gold though that uh, that Loda does have on the Gyrocopter. He's picked up a Tranquil Boots now, he's got 500 gold, and he does have the Aquila, like you mentioned he would uh, he would get as well. Oh, you mentioned that earlier, I guess maybe I could edit it out. But... I might edit it in, so we'll see. Just that, just that one little fragment of information. Well, just until oh, yeah, the yeah. remake, so you can see the start of both games. Oh yeah, like the the draft and everything. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty curious to see how how well uh, Bulldog can do in the jungle with that with that pretty much solo experience farm. He's going to be doing as as well as as the mid heroes are in terms of experience, especially with the Midas excelling it by a lot. But uh, I also want to see Mouseport. Uh, bring the Darkseer over as well as Alex and try to take down that tier 1 tower before uh, before it's a lot easier to defend in the mid game. Yeah, Black picked up a Bracer, looks like he's gonna go Drums. Pretty much a common build we see a lot nowadays for uh, Luna. Just to excel through the mid game. 
Well, like yeah, you, speed for Eclipse. Yeah, you, exactly. You need that move speed. And Tranquil Boost S4 gives that as well. in the mid lane, though. Dual Ion Shell up on Fado and Kurkai. Able to chase it down with a Void. Uh, and maybe a Silence, so she couldn't meld. I'm not sure if he, that was used. Yeah, even if she does meld, the Ion Shell's going to burn her right down. So, Darkseer's just definitely a good pickup against Templar Assassin. I'm, su I'm surprised they picked it, actually, knowing that that MS already did have the Darkseer, but eh, they needed a mid, and that's who they went with. Yeah, I think some people are still in denial of how good Darkseer actually is against her early game, but maybe people are starting to finally realize. Yeah. Oh, Night Sucker took out TA. Ah, uh, sorry, Admiral Bulldog. Got there just a second late, but you saw TA die. <gasps> yeah, might have been a track kill, actually, or maybe he just got level 6 because of that kill. Looks like they're going to dive here, though. Can they get S4? Uh, track is up. Can't go on this. Mount shot on the pause though, but two ion shells just doing a ton of damage. Templar assassin's gonna drop. Eternal envy maybe gonna drop as well. But a good ice pack here by Ake. Alex can go down. Load of TP's in. She picks up a kill. Fata though, looking really strong, especially with uh, level three. I'm guessing ion shell up. The track on a Jakiro, so nice sucker. Or even Kirk can build run away. That's on them both. Uh no, it it couldn't. Ernest but I. Finished on Fata. Yeah, pass with that level 6, just been spamming that track, and it's, it got them at least one kill there, so that's one of the advantages of the Bounty Hunter, especially coupled with the Night Stalker, you're going to have a really strong mid game regardless. Yeah, three kills now for, uh, for Fado on Night Stalker. Yep, they took the kill lead, and they do have Black leading the last hit charts, so pretty good start here for Mustwords, but uh, no tight end does have that tier 1 tower up top. Uh, taken out, as well as a jungle uh, Admiral Bulldog on the Nature's Prophet with the Midas, and he looks like he's going for probably a mech, like you mentioned as well. Here's the Ancient Stack with Flak Cannon, just going to drop so fast, even when Gyrocopter isn't hitting that hard. Going to take it out as a team, get some experience. Sentry laid down so that Paz can't come in and cause a ruckus. Although that would be pretty dangerous for him currently. Yeah, lots of, lots of fire there. But a uh, nice little ancient stack, and I'm, I'm not sure. Like, do we check the net worth? If uh, yeah, Gyrocopter's actually beating beating uh, Black there on the Luna by quite a lot, despite having less last hits. It was behind in levels too, but Midas able to catch him up. Yep, strong, strong item for a Gyrocopter. Pretty much anyone like the staple carry item these days. The only one I don't see go is Luna. Yeah, and I've actually seen Luna get it a few times, but yeah, I don't know, it's not as good. You're not, as Luna in the early game, you're not, that's not where your damage is coming from in the auto attacks. It's mostly your magic well, damage. Picks off Admiral Bulldog again, but maybe going to go down to Sentry's drop, but he's out of range. Fata onto S4, but Ake is there. A little 2 on 2 skirmish. Alex coming in, but everyone's just deciding to back on out of that. Yeah, I actually feel like Fata could have maybe turned around and got him. with. Uh, he's got 13 wand charges, and the bounty hunter maybe just offering a track and, and some auto attacks as well. So I feel like they might have been able to get a kill, but TP support could have came in. Uh, so, you know, they, they get the one kill, and then they're just able to back off nice and safe. He's got an urn as well, which you can drop on TA to take off refraction before Ion Shell even gets there. Yeah, exactly. So, Kurikai has rotated up top with that uh, Darkseer. Maybe just trying to push, pressure the tower a little bit. Or uh, stop Loda from farming as well. The track goes off on the Gyrocopter. So, how is Loda scaling here? Doing max flat cannon in all stats. That's what I saw Aoi do a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I guess as a farming Gyro, you don't really need that rocket barrage. Yeah, don't do that in a pub, doesn't work. Tried. <laughs> oh, good nice initiation. Nice Two stun. Uh, Stormhammer there. Gyro's his call down. Gonna catch Alex. Maybe cut Kirk, but Alex definitely can drop here. Admiral Bulldog TPing in to secure the kill. Pauses on the run. Having to get out. Uh, Jakiro picks up the kill. Kirk gonna go down as well. Not sure why he's still that far out. But a uh, good ward up by No Tide Hunter to see how aggressive they could be. They know what's coming and they know where they are. So Lane wards. Don't underestimate them. They're very good. <laughs> it's a very good item. <laughs> um, so, wow, actually, uh, Black leading the net worth now. I wonder what happened there. Uh, how does the how does the network work? Because like, Gyro net worth just, sketches like, out if they've bought an item and it's in their stash or on the chicken. Oh. Uh, so okay. maybe we just looked at it. 
or not in stash, but if it's on the chicken, they lose all the net worth they had. And then they get it back when the item gets on their person. I see. So yeah, he, he just picked up a Yasha, that's probably why I uh, did Loda. So yeah, we've got um, Quirkai also going for a mech, it looks like. At least the early beginnings of one. Fata has picked up an urn, uh, Strength Chads, he's got an Ogre Club now. So going for the fast BKB. Uh, Alex, just some support items. Black, of course, we mentioned has the Tranquil Boots. I wonder if that's a Yasha coming out to him or, or some item. Yeah, it is a Yasha. Um, pass, he's got the Phase Boots. Maybe look for him to get a, another Jumps, possibly. Or a Vlad's or some early game item like that's that. Or... gets caught, tracked up, and uh, doesn't land onto the cliff, though. Close. They're going to have to run away, but at least he is tracked up. Going to chase down Eternal Envy. It's funny to see a Sven run away from people. Sentry has dropped, Paz is stunned up, onto a call down, just instantly melted by S4 with the fraction. Fata though, stuck in the trees, Sprout, Sprout melt hit, maybe coming out here. Oh, I think he, no, he didn't melt, but now Black is into the fight. The Fury on Tree is actually really good against Eclipse, gonna spread that damage. Yeah, definitely, I'm not even used to it. Looks like uh, NTH might to try to get this Roche. Uh, S4 does have the double damage on the TA, but I don't know if they have enough damage. Not with uh with a loader there on the uh gyrocopter. A good fight though by NTH. Yasha onto the loader now. Yeah, yeah, that was brought out to him. Uh so he's got the Yasha, he's got the jumps as well, so pretty much even items there for uh for the two carries, Luna and Gyrocopter. Admiral Bulldog has that Midas, he's going for that mech, he's he's really close now. Paz finds Ake and then if they take him down, that's another track kill going the way of Mouseport. Take a look at the gold graph, see how that's affecting it. XP's dead even. Uh, gold, also pretty much dead even. Pass coming up top, looks like they might want to just dive here on Admiral Bulldog. Let's yeah, see if Thomas he's got the... Uh, Pass comes in, throws the track, oh. where's the Janata hit? TP's coming in, Sprout's up, but it doesn't matter, they still see him. They're kind of back off, S4 TP's in, has phase up. Uh, getting mighty close to Blink, 8 gold off. Oh, Vacuum Eclipse coming in. Takes out Admiral Bulldog instantly. TA gonna drop as well. Two for nil trade and a tier one tower. Yeah, Maybe beautiful. Beautiful turn there by Mouse. Uh, S4 overextended a little bit away from the tower, trying to get a few. Maybe probably didn't think he could kill, but maybe Going for on Loda. Silenced up, voided. Where's the Lucent Beam? There's the Lucent Beam. Auto attack from Black to finish the job. Little Tree Jukes. Fancy Tree Jukes. Barrel roll. <laughs> oh, Tree Jukes. I think he's stuck now, though. And he's gonna go down. No support TPs in there. Fata just gonna go out, but he gets oh, caught by an ice path, so that's a good yeah. ice path. They know they're in there, the creep blocking him in, but uh, with all the deaths recently, uh, no Tidehunter and no position to respond to that. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of a sad thing that pretty much every pro player knows about any juke spot on the map at any given <laughs> at any given time, so. Back in the day, I remember in Dota 1, it was like maybe only the best players knew exactly every tr every tree juke. So you could kind of get away with something like that, going into the trees and just hiding a little bit. We even saw that in the International 1, I believe, when Demon had some nice jukes in the trees up top. But pretty much everyone's aware of everything nowadays, especially with like things like track and stuff like that, just to get full vision. There's not as many opportunities for jukes in a pretty interesting and creative place. Yeah, and the pathing is a little more obvious now with the, in the Source Engine instead of Warcraft 3. Yeah. Mid-tier 1 about to go down here. Eternal Envy with a stun onto Black. Caught into Ice Path. Maybe gonna go down, getting pretty low, but feeling so much of that mechanism. I'm not sure why he got all that health from, I guess, just the mech, but uh, Black. Flies back. Coming into the fight. Ice Path on the Fata. Is he gonna go down? Barracopter stunning Kurakai. Kurakai gonna go down, so that's three trades. Uh, I mean, three kills against Mount Sports. There was a buyback coming in from Eternal Envy as well. Uh, yeah, nice quick, nice quick response by NTH. Right. Buyback into the Roche Pit. So we're gonna get that. Even though they're tracked up, maybe BH comes and scouts it. They don't have sentries on them right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, they do. shakiro has got one. Yeah, but uh, he's just gonna get the haste and run away after that. Picked up a bot actually. Almost got a full. He does have a. F no, he doesn't have the recipe yet, but. <laughs> his, his stash is completely full there for uh, for pass on the bounty hunter. But yeah, nice response there in that team fight. They lost the tier one tower mid, but 
they were able to all TP in and just kind of fight on that little cliff. The, gy the gyrocopter ultimate was just doing so much in that little area, and Luna didn't have her ulti, so just a pretty pretty well uh, well coordinated team fight by NTH, and uh, and most sports were just kind of taken by storm. Yeah, I was surprised how long Black lived. I think he maybe got off a uh, some of a Trinkle Boots charge and then a mech. So he yeah, had the ult that fight maybe went completely the other way. Oh yeah, guaranteed. There's no creeps or anything like that, so it would have just decimated uh, NTH. But L2 was down and Gyros was up, so just went the other way. Well, Gyros is always up. It's only, what, 50 seconds? Yeah, it's uh... It's not as good, of course, as uh, as the other one, but in a, in a little in a little like uh, chokehold pl place like that, it's pretty strong. Yeah, the slow is pretty nice. So it looks just like brought out. I'm not sure. Ogre club maybe. BKB finished on Loda. Yeah, so it looks like the tower advantage is definitely going in the way of most sports, but because of that little team fight, the gold graph has dipped down a little bit more to zero now. So. Looks like it's swinging in the favor of no Tide Hunter, but uh, we'll we'll just have to see. I think the next team fight team fight is going to be uh, very important to kind of uh, see where the where this game is going and who's favor. Yeah, absolutely. BKB being brought out out of Loda, as I mentioned. Fat yep. Is he at? With his got the Mithril Hammer and the Ogre Club about 500 gold away. They're going bottom on Alex. He's getting double stunned. Alex getting caught out. He's gonna die. He just Rafa picks up the kill actually. Sitting on a mech treads Midas, see what he goes next. Probably Sheepstick. A nice yeah. Tucker picks up Invis. Gonna take the bot tier 1 here for no Tide Hunter. Black's actually got a Mantis down now, so a lot more, uh, so. Lot more DPS there, as, and as well as the ultimate up. So I feel like they could have uh, potentially defended this tower if uh, Alex hadn't died, but because he just got picked off, they don't want to take a 4 vs 5 fight, uh, even with the Luna ultimate and stuff like that, so. They'll, they'll wait, as well as the Aegis, I guess, is on the Gyrocopter still. No, no, it's on uh, S4. Oh, where well, they put it on S4? Okay. Well, Loda's looking really strong right now, with that BKB like you mentioned. Yeah, probably not going to hand the Aegis over to Loda, assuming they get it again for a little while longer. It's going to need a couple yeah. more damaging items. Yep, but Black, not to be underestimated right now, he's going to have to go for a BKB, I'm pretty sure, after getting that Mantis style. Just so you can stay in the fight and uh, use that ulti to the fullest potential. Mech finish on Kurokai. Yeah, that was a nice stuff again. Going Necronomicon. 900 off of that. Look for some extra pushing power. Yeah, and uh, Fat is about 200 gold away from his backing bar. Uh, Pretty, he's gonna have that pretty much soon right now. He's got the Mithra Hammer and the recipes coming out, so someone's gonna go have to go top, I guess. Luna's just gonna go top and farm that. Try to get her BKB up. But with the blacking bar on the Night Stalker, he's gonna be able to just pop it and run to the to the front lines and soak up damage that way. Demon edge up on Loda going for an MKB again, the standard build of this gyrocopter. All three games, the only thing that has changed changed is the way that he was uh, his skills were leveled up each game changed a little bit. Yep. Definitely a strong carry hero in this patch. The fattest guy's BKB, it looks like he wants to start something here. Yeah, Fatter going through, he's got Invis Rune bottled up. Gonna engage on Eternal Envy, dropping the stun, don't want to storm hammer. Wall by Darkseer, dust popped off. Kurakai though going down. Into a call down. Black gets caught in one of them. Able to pop off his ultimate. TA drops, which is gonna spot with full health, and Loda might not even die. Loda's still alive. Gonna back off, doesn't wanna get caught by a Fable. Alex gonna be chased down. Fata being chased off by uh, S4. Alex maybe gonna lift. Still going on Alex here. Oh. And old breath from Acta. Gets the lift though. Down. Gets the lift. Buy some time for Fata to see me back in. Void up. Attack, attack, attack. But he TP's out. Strongest, strongest uh, item in the game right there. TP's. Yeah, seeing that void was already used. Can't cancel the TP, so just TP's out there. Nice smart play. Definitely uh, something you can do against Night Soccer. If he starts with a void, then use your TP because. After that, he's just going to chase you down pretty much no matter what, especially with the haste. And urn, and nighttime. Yeah. But uh, most nice doctors will pretty much always start with a void, and that's their only mini stun, so. Carry TP. Same with Bloodseeker, same with, uh, what was that other hero we just saw? Oh, I can't 
can't remember, but I remember the talking about it. Yeah. Well, watch our other games and you'll find it. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, who was playing? Dignitas and, um, who was it? Dignitas and Navi, right? Yeah, that was, that was a good game. Indeed it was. Anyway, uh, another stack. ancient stack here. Yasha on TA. That's not something you see every day. Ooh, definitely not. Going for the more attack speed build. Cena, Cena. who was it, Chuan, I think, run this? Maybe it wasn't Chuan. Someone. Someone, one of the Chinese teams uh, ran. Or maybe it was Mushi. Yeah, I think it was Mushi. Yeah, running like an attack speed TA. It just got like a Manta style and stuff like that. It was pretty strong. Yeah, I miss, uh, I wish we could watch more Chinese Dota, maybe buy, I'll buy a tournament ticket for one of those. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be a pretty good idea. Oh, Lotus got his, uh, MKB now. So much farm with that Midas. So Gyrocopter looking to be the hero of this series, if no Tidehunter can pull out the win here in game three. Yeah, for sure. Definitely have to give the MVP to him, but looks like they want to fight here. Alex gonna get picked. Alex mounting before I can even get there. S4 tracked up, gonna go down as well. Trying to kill Fata, but not gonna get it. The rest of NTH, uh, gonna miss. Trap misses and uh, Ice Path misses. He's earned up. Saw the trap get placed. BKB's up just to live. Buy some time, gonna turn it around. Red Envy, God Strength, Warcry right now. He's spawned by Admiral Bulldog. <laughs> it's one of them Midas. I guess that was just a creep that was minus. And there's a pause by Envy. Maybe S4 is lagging again. Yeah, I feel like one of the the main points here is uh, is um, the the quick rush for the match style for Luna. Maybe should have gone for a BKV first and then won some of those early game fights and then been able to have a stronger farm because that's kind of what Loda did. He uh, he got the BKV first and they able to just survive in those fights. It's a pretty good item. Uh, yeah. Stuns up onto the black, gonna lock him down. The rocket's coming in to ensure the kill. Good vacuum, though, but no wall to follow up. And there's another buyback by back. Luna. There's the wall. Just, just, a, it was extremely defensive wall. So, NCH maybe gonna back off now. Uh, Roche in two minutes. So, maybe, probably not gonna do that right now. But backing out, regardless. Yeah, Bulldog just gonna stack these ancients, I believe. Mech is finished now for Kur Kurakai on the Dark Sea. Yeah, looks like he's going for a hood now, which is uh, pretty much what Dark Seers do nowadays. Um, not much item progression otherwise, out of most, just the Vlads on pass, which he had most of those components earlier. He's uh, had the Vlads for a long time. Oh, yeah, he's, had that. he's got an Ogre Club now, so it's getting going to work towards the BKB, I assume. Eternal Envy has picked up some dust just for the Bounty Hunter, I guess. They've also got sentries on Aki. Uh, S4 getting close to that mana style. He's almost got that ultimate orb at 2,000 gold, and Loda just just uh, working on that uh, mana style. I guess next. It's, it, we've always seen just the, like the Yasha. I feel like getting the mana style. Three coming out in about a thousand gold. Oh, for Bulldog, yeah, that's gonna be huge. Definitely a a good item to pick up if you want to push against the Bounty Hunter. Yeah, or anyone really. It's pretty much amazing. My favorite item. <laughs> Necro Book 3 fan blow over here. Yeah, I love it. Especially since the model uh, remake. They look really cool now. Yeah. Let's see if Mouse can uh, yeah, defend us. Caught out. His rocket gets taken down. He gets away safely. The TP now. Not trying to go high ground yet. Definitely need to wait on the Roche before they can do that. Ancient stacked up three times as well. So maybe they'll do Roche and Ancient and uh, come in for that final push. Although they still have. No, Tyler does have outer towers that they can still work on, and Mouse has three outer towers uh, that they can work on, so... But, Eternal Envy caught out, but TP is OP unless Lucent Beam is on the horizon. And in this case it is... Sven, gonna drop. Yeah, nice job by uh, Mouse. They see uh, S4 TP up top to defend that, and right away they just rush out with, uh, with the Night Stalker, who's able to catch up to Sven. So, nice, uh, nice awareness there by Fata. Absolutely, and uh, really good wards out now for four wards up for No Tide Hunter, all over the map to be aggressive and also defend or awareness when they're in the rush pit of what's going to be coming their way. Yeah, and another stack here. That's one of the advantages of the profit, I guess. You can just TP in at like 45 seconds, stack up the camp, and then 
you pretty much got three ancient stacks just just by kind of keeping an eye out for that. But here we go, Mouseports onto the offensive, pushing mid tier two, just glaving it up. Tower sitting at 460 health. Low TA, yeah. wrapping around the backside, it's got a ton of traps laid out on these trees if it needs to escape. Profit all coming in, doing a lot of damage. The lane ward though, scouts everything out, scouts the retreat. They're gonna have to just retreat now. They got the tower, which is good, and Luna ended up picking it up, but uh, I don't think they can do much after that. Roche is up though, they gotta. I gotta get in there. Black does have 3k gold, so he's getting close to that to that black and but just still about 700 gold off. So not quite. And uh, and Loda also has 4k gold. So we'll see what he picks up next. Whether he's just gonna stay for buyback or or get his next item. Yeah, they just melted that ancient stack there. Maybe uh, the mighty Grievel has respawned. Maybe we're gonna go in and take that out. Yeah. Profit does have that Necro 3 like you said. Maybe uh, Sheep Stick him now. Now is the time. It's always a good item for a Profit. He's able to farm it out quick enough anyway. Yeah, I was pretty surprised. Uh, but Necro 3 also good. Maybe Luna is going to kill it when she pops Eclipse. It'll pretty much take her out. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Mouse can't defend against that Roche if uh, NTH decided to go for it, and they did. So they give it to a Templar Assassin again. I guess they feel like Lotus. No, like he's okay, he's not gonna die regardless Doesn't with that BKB. Much to drop. I guess he could drop his Midas at this point in the game. Well, actually, it's only 29 minutes, so still like kind of in the mid game, late mid game. Yeah, it's it's still really strong. <laughs> that experience boost and gold boost is not to be underestimated. It's nothing to sneeze at, as I always say. Yeah, I haven't said it in a while, so it's bad. Well, I need it. I need at least one, at least once a series. Admiral Bulldog still farming up, also with the Midas. Third in net worth now, actually. Yep, and uh, oh wow. Black has actually chosen to get an Eagle Song. This is, I gotta say, it's a pretty questionable choice. Yeah, maybe they just want more damage, but if you just get Permastunned every time, it's gonna be pretty tough. They're gonna have to depend on uh, Darkseer to buy them some time once, I mean, Black is gonna get initiated on. So. Yeah, well. We've we've seen how many uh, around thirty minute fights uh, a darkseer can pretty much win by himself with that level two wall. So we definitely cannot count Mouse out of this game. They've got if they can get the jump on uh, NTH, they get the wall, they get the uh, level three eclipse. They can easily win a fight. But here's the DD on Gyrocopter. Gonna look to push with this. Maybe get a team wipe at least. Butterfly. Yeah. Tier two tower. Oh, and butterfly finished. Wow. Hitting so for four hundred damage right now. Even more. Five hundred. Radiance middle tower has fallen. The black Sky unit is going to be deadly. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how they can fight it off. Black running out is a little dangerous there. I guess he's got support, but still. The NTH is just going to rotate up top, take down some uh, a free tower there, the tier 2. I don't think Mouse can defend it. Yeah, they see all these rotations. They've got really good wards up now. Uh, if they're going to be pushing aggressive, one on the base and one on that cliff there. Uh, behind the the tier two tower and top lane. Yeah, Admiral Bulldog doing a nice job of pushing out the uh, the far lane. So get the creeps moving in that direction. Then you can always TP in, of course, being the nature's prophet. He is up. He could also alt if anyone gets away when they're low. They've got plenty of sight up, so it'll be able to hit them. Yeah, this is why I'm surprised that nature's prophet isn't played as much anymore. Like, you you push, you can split push so well, and then just join your team even as a pushing team instead of just like. Split, split pushing and then coming back to defend. So I don't know why we don't see Nature Prophet as much anymore. We've, he's been pretty effective this game, I feel. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they only, what, nerfed his move speed, so you just can't go no Boots Fury on really anymore. Uh, that won't stop me from trying. But I think it's to the point we brought up earlier where, like, jungles are just falling off because anyone can jungle now with the, all the pulls that go on. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But the late game pushing, if you get into a solid position and your team doesn't have, uh... Well, they have Bounty Hunter, which is pretty dangerous for Ethereum, but... Like, Invis Assassination Heroes can really do damage to Ethereum pushing. You can end up just feeding later on in the game. Yeah, that's true. Oh, they got a Centaur. Centaur Khan on their side here. I guess someone has a Helmet Dominator? What's going on here? But big initiation! Darkseer Wall, one vacuum, S4 is in it. 
But only S4, the tower goes down, Loda walks through, but he's got a BKB, same. Uh, Fata popped his BKB, it's gonna run out now. Pipe up to be aggressive. There's the amazing Necro units. Getting Fade Bolted, you're gonna take him out, because they still have a long time left, you don't just want him to die. And you can still use them. Yeah, seeing the strength of that Darkseer wall right now, though. Yeah, but that is down now, so... Yeah, I feel like if NTH want to turn around, they can take a fight right now. 600 damage to whoever kills that uh, Necro unit. Whoa. I don't even know what it just killed. He like, just killed it. Necro unit goes down, does it like half of Black's health right there. Dust is up. We gotta catch Black off, call down Macro Pyre. Paws having to back out, Fat having to back out, top racks going down. Envy's picked up, but no follow through. Trap out by TA. Little defensive trap there. Centaur Khan, maybe gonna look for a stun. Oh, he already used it. Loda, though, just doing damage, tanking up Eclipse. Doesn't even care. Too many things around. Gonna drop to S4. Oz, maybe gonna drop to S4 as well. Kurakai on no health coming in. Sentry's dropped, but it's in tower range. Pop oh, the BKB to live. And there's the GG. That's it, yeah. Game three going to No Tide Hunter. No Tide Hunter taking the series over Mal's. Two to one. So what have we learned this series, Joey? Gyrocopter is awesome and may <laughs> not be underrated anymore. Gyrocopter is OP. I wanted you to say that. Oh, I don't to say it willy nilly. <laughs> yeah, on the special occasions. Oh, maybe give Raj a shout out here. Okay, yeah. Uh, shout out to my buddy Nick Raj. He's uh, probably our number one fan, watching all our games and stuff like that, so we really appreciate it. Thanks, man. And if you're seeing this, you're already on our YouTube, but if you like any of the casts you've seen, we'll be bringing some more amateur games, as well as a ton of Ray Call Season 2 games and series, so we look forward to casting a lot more games. Yep, thanks a lot for watching.